Are you not taking advantage of your anabolic window? What is the anabolic window? Does it actually exist? Is there such thing as an anabolic window? I will let you guys know in this video what the anabolic window is all about. What's up, YouTube? Albert Silva representing Destination Kansas Slaughter. <gasps> What's up guys? Today, y'all heard the intro. Today, we're gonna talk about the anabolic window. Does it exist? Is there such thing? Are you taking advantage of it? And how can you take advantage? How can you take advantage of an anabolic window? Well, today's video is gonna be all about the anabolic window. First of all, I'm gonna show you guys how I take care of it, how I take advantage of it, how I believe it exists. Because, first of all, let's just say what the anabolic window is. Let's start off with this, guys. Guys, thanks again for tuning in. Thanks to again for tuning in. It's coming along, guys. I got a little bit of a rash right here. I don't know what it is, but I got a little bit of a rash only on that side. Yeah, guys, I shave my armpits because I sweat a lot. And, you know, sweat really just all it, I mean, hair, all it really does is just keep in smells. And I'm not a caveman. I, I'm not trying to attract a chick with a, you know, with a musty smile. I guess I'd say that uh, millions of years ago, uh, hair was for attracting women, you know, but... <sighs> not what I'm here doing so I'm gonna I, I shave off all hair other than this I have no hair on my body I just don't I don't care for smells I don't care for uh, musty smells on your body I'm more musty as it is you know I swear a lot I'm a big dude I'm a big <laughs> I don't need to keep any smells I don't necessarily want them around so I shave off everything and luckily for me I'm not a hairy dude like I don't have hair on my back I don't have hair I don't even have hair on my chest guys look at this I don't even have hair on my truth <laughs> I don't have to shave all that much. I don't even have hair on my legs. I have a little bit of hair on my legs, but it's not all that bad. So I don't shave that because it's not that bad. Now, you know, I'm not like those dudes that are, they look like Teen Wolf. If y'all don't know what Teen Wolf is, go check it out. I'm not a Teen Wolf kind of guy. So I, I can't even grow hair on my on my face. Look at that. I can't even grow hair on my face. That's, you know, I still haven't gotten a haircut, guys. Anyway, all right, guys. I'm going to tell you this, man. When you do any kind of physical activity and you do it hard with high intensity, even when you don't, but the higher intensity your workout is, the higher intensity you do your stuff at, the bigger, the stronger that anabolic window is. So basically what the anabolic window is, is man it's your body just ravenous it's your body just so hungry that's the anabolic window when you after you work out when you put in a good session a good workout session and then right after your body just or your stomach's like it's basically saying it's basically reaching into your stomach and grabbing whatever it can now obviously to take advantage complete advantage of the anabolic window i go i pump iron for an hour and a half two hours sometimes two and a half hours at a time so when i go I make sure that I'm not in a full stomach and I make sure that I'm not, I, I basically go on an empty stomach, but I don't go in starve, okay? I don't go in starving. Now, uh, when I do go in, you can have something really small just to kind of line the stomach. You don't go in on a full stomach. Don't you dare go in on, a, on, on, on a full stomach because it ain't gonna work. This anabolic's not gonna work. This anabolic window's not gonna work. So you gotta go in there on a relatively empty stomach, relatively empty stomach. Sometimes you just line it with something, maybe drink something, maybe drink some water. I don't know, drink something. But you go in with a relatively empty stomach and you pump iron, you do what you gotta do, you, you go run that treadmill for an hour and a half, you do whatever you wanna do at high, high intensity. The higher the intensity, the more calories it's gonna burn, the more, the, the bigger, the stronger the anabolic window is gonna be. Because the, the, the harder you push your body, bottom line, the harder you push your body, the hungry it's gonna be. You ever notice that these guys are, that are like, uh, 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 you know, like uh, Olympic swimmers and stuff, they eat more than anybody else. They eat more than anybody else because they're pushing their bodies to the edge. So what I'm telling you is push your body to the edge, your body will be hungry. Here's what people go wrong with this anabolic window. If you don't push your body, if you push your body just a little bit, if, let's just say 25%. This is, you know, let's just, let's just go 25%. If you just go for a nice jog, a nice walk, there's going to be an anabolic window, right? It's going to be an anabolic window because you're, you're, you know, let's just say you do the right things like you go, you, you know, you go on an empty stomach and, 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 and you know, uh, you don't eat. So you go on an empty stomach to do what you 
you gotta do, working out, whatever it is that you do, whether you go for a walk, a hike, whatever it is, don't matter. But you don't push your body as hard as you need to. Now, this is where this goes wrong, horribly wrong. So you don't push your body, so you're not burning the calories to begin with. You're not burning the calories you need to burn. And then you think, well, you know, I worked out hard. I did enough to have an anabolic window. So the anabolic window's there, but it's just not as strong. So let's just say you go for a nice little three mile walk, three mile run, and then you think, well, the anabolic window's, you know, it, it's for real, so let me just go and eat this. Let me go and eat this big meal. Well, now what you just did, you, the anabolic window's this big, and then you just threw a, you just threw a meal this big. So what's gonna happen? The, the anabolic window's gonna, you know, the body's just gonna eat what it needs. The rest of it is just gonna store it as fat. So that's what I'm saying, guys. You gotta go and push your body. That 30% stuff that people talk about, ooh, you know, 30% and then 70% diet, 30% gym, 70%, get away from that, man. Just forget about that. You gotta go to the gym and exhaust the body, and exhaust the muscles. Do what you gotta do. Whatever you're, do whatever it is that you're working out at, whether it be hiking, like I said, but you gotta go 100%. You gotta go and, and exhaust the muscles. You gotta exhaust the muscles. You gotta kill the muscle. You gotta exhaust the muscle. If I, if I don't, I don't wanna have to say this again. You gotta exhaust the muscle, man. If you don't exhaust the muscle, that anabolic window is gonna be small. It's gonna be really small now. An anabolic window is gonna last about 45 minutes, even maybe an hour. But you're stretching it out, man, because when you're starving, when the body's starving, it's gonna, it, it wants to reach for whatever is in the belly. Remember, the body wants what's in the belly, the belly. Whatever's in the belly, that's what it's gonna get. That's the first thing the body wants to get stuff from the belly. It wants to feed itself from the belly. So what you gotta go do is just go kill the gym, kill the workout, and then you got 45 minutes. Give it what it needs. Now, depending on how hard you work out, depending on what your needs are, hey, mine are, you know what my needs are. My needs are to put on muscle, so I go work out hard, and I know my anabolic window is strong, so what do I do? I go to Robex, I go to these uh, smoothie places, Champa Juice, Juice It Up, I go to all these places, it depends on where I'm at, and I have the biggest caloric shake they have, simple as that. I do that because I'm working out really hard, y'all see me, I'm, I'm kicking but I'm, I'm working out, man. I'm working out hard, man. So my anabolic window is going to be a lot stronger and a little bit bigger, too. So I'm, what I'm saying is the harder you work out, the more calories, the bigger the anabolic window is and the more you can take advantage of it because the hungry you are, the more ravenous your body is, the more calories you can feed it, and the more results you're gonna get. Simple as that, guys. You can't overfeed something that's starving. If something is starving, it's, you can't overfeed it. So when I go when I go to these uh, these juiceries, those smoothie places, I'm getting an 800 calorie shake and I'm downing it like it's nothing. My body's, my body's using every bit of that nutrition, every bit of that nutrition. Secondly, secondly, I'm gonna tell you guys how to take advantage of it. When Y'all doing the anabolic window, y'all gotta get something that's some, somewhat easily digested. Now don't go get a steak, don't go get a chicken, uh, uh, some chicken. Obviously the body's gonna take care of it. Obviously the body's gonna digest it. You don't want it to work that hard. You don't want the body to work because you've already exhausted the body. So the body's tired, it's hungry, it's, it's like a wolf. It's like a wolf in the middle of the night. It's just looking around. It's a, the body's like, Wait, where's my next meal coming? Where's my next meal? Now you don't want it to have to work on top of that. Now you could if you want. I'm not saying you don't, you can't. You can go get a chicken breast and you can go get a piece of steak. You can get something that's real solid and hard to digest. You can do that. But you know it ain't gonna be digested completely in that 45 minutes. But you know if you put in a juice, you put in a liquid, a shake, you know that's gonna be digested right away because this liquid, my body, when it was, when I'm in that anabolic window, whatever I put in it, and, I, and all I do is put in a shake, smoothies. Today, that, shoot, that smoothie, I don't care if it's, and see the gorilla that I have from Robex, that's an 800 calorie and I, when I tell you that I down it a minute, and guess what guys, you know, about another hour later, I'm hungry again because the body just took all that nutrition and boom, threw it in the bloodstream and it's gonna throw it in the muscles because it's right away. Reparation is uh, re repairing the muscle has begun. Post-workout meal, the, the, the recovery from the workout has begun. That's when recovery begins to happen. That's when muscle building begins to happen. Right after you work out, when the body just ravenous like a coyote, like a wolf in the middle of the night, just looking for food, feed it, man. Feed it what it wants. Give it food. Give it lots of food. That's when I have biggest calorie meal, post meal. I wouldn't dare think about having 800 calorie shake in the middle of the night. Maybe in the middle of the day, but right after, right after a workout. Perfect. Have the biggest meal of the day. That is my biggest meal of the day. You know when they say breakfast is the most important meal of the day? Mm -hmm. It's the post workout meal. That's the most important meal of the day. That is the most important meal of the day. That is the most important 
important meal of the day. I don't care what anybody says, but we're talking about the anabolic window. Guys, that's when repairing the body begins. Simple as that. You want to start repairing the body from that workout? You want to start growing? You want to start putting on size? You want to put on muscle size? Anabolic window, guys. Guys, I hope y'all liked the video. I hope I didn't miss anything, but you know what? I'm probably going to be thinking later, man, I should have put that in there. And maybe I'll put it in there. Maybe I'll go back and put it in there. Either way, guys, work out hard, pump hard, go do what you got to do hard, whatever it is that you're doing. Do it hard, and that anabolic window will be stronger, and it'll be bigger, and you can put on more muscle gains, you can take off more fat, you can use it the way you want to use it. But as long as you use it, that's what I'm saying. As long as you use it and take advantage of it, and you use it correctly, that's what I'm here for. Use it correctly. The anabolic window is real, guys. It's true. It's there. It's a window. It's 45 minutes, and it depends on how hard you work out. That depends on how big and strong that anabolic window is, guys. I work out extremely hard, so you know those 800 calories are boom right into the blood system, boom right into the muscle, boom right into the muscle, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in. If y'all subscribe, thank you very much. If y'all haven't subscribed, it's only a matter of time before you will. So you might as well just do it now, man. Just do us both a favor. Just do it now because I'm throwing out all kinds of tips that can get you shredded and muscular, guys. I'm going to put on some serious muscle. Y'all watch. I'm using the little tips I'm giving you guys, and I'm using them for myself. Yeah. You know what? I'm giving you guys tips that nobody gives you. Man, that's, that's awesome. And all I want in return, all I want is in return is maybe a subscribe, some watch, some views. That's all I want. Some views, some subscriptions. What? What? Not charging you money for these tips. What? What? No, man. All I want is a subscribe button. Hit the bell. Notification. So whenever I put up a new video, it notifies you. Whenever I put up another great tip. What? What? That's it. What? Yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you. Like, subscribe, comment, comment, like, subscribe. Whatever you want to say. Thank you very much. I'm Albert Silva. Represent. Just to so good. Till next time. <laughs>